top five highest paying programming jobs. And in this video, every single programming job I'm gonna tell you is gonna go from low to high paying jobs. I'll wait till you get to the last one because it gets absolutely crazy. I'm gonna be talking to you about the average salary you'll be making with these job roles, the time it will take you to become a developer with these job roles, what your role would actually look like, what will you be doing day to day. And the last one is the absolute craziest one. So I can't wait for you to find out. Let's go. Number five, full stack developer. You will likely be using a language like JavaScript here, or maybe if you're using Python, you'll be using frameworks like Django or Flask, but essentially you'll be developing web applications. So imagine you're one of the full stack developers at YouTube and YouTube tells you, hey, you need to build a new feature like the like button, make sure to hit the like button or add in a new feature and the ability to delete comments or filter comments or publish a video when I hit the public button or unlist a video when I hit that button. All of that functionality is something that somebody who's a full stack developer would build. Other things that might be included in a full stack developer is full stack developers made up of a front end developer and a back end developer. So front end developer might make the web app look nice and beautiful. So for example, when I hit the like button, what color does it turn and how does it turn white? And when I unlike a video, it turns back to gray. When I've already watched the video, there should be a red bar at the bottom showing me that I've already seen a bunch of it. All of that is something that a front end developer would do. And now a back end developer would be somebody who's doing where the data is being stored. So if we have millions and millions and millions of videos, how are they being stored? How are we reading those videos and then displaying that data over on YouTube? That's the job of a back end developer. So if you combine both of those skills, the front end and back end, you get a full stack developer and that's what your role might look like when it comes to your day to day job. Now, the time for you to get a first job would vary. I made a short on this and I got roasted pretty hard from the comments. You can't get a job in three to six months. It's impossible. Keep crying me a river. Cry in these comments below as well. That's totally fine. I myself got a job within the first three to six months. I worked my butt off and I worked tremendously hard and I was coding for 10 to 12 to 15 hours every single day assessing and using that I was able to get my job fairly quickly. There are a lot of people who have gone to coding boot camps and have come out and gotten jobs. There's tons of stories. One person met me recently. He met me at Vit Summit this year. He said he went from being homeless to getting a job at Google within four months. And all he did was watch my YouTube videos online. But for most people, the time can take one to two years. And I'm not saying you're an amazing full stack developer because people will take me out of context and say, I'm saying you become an amazing developer. No, you could get your first entry level job. You could get your internship as a full stack developer making 50, 60, $70,000 a year. Okay. So this is something that's definitely possible. And it's in my opinion, the best path to get into the field of programming. The average salary of a full stack developer is is around 102 to $119,000 per year, according to, depending on if you're looking at ZipRecruiter or Indeed.com. Number four, a cloud engineer. Your role here would be to help companies scale using cloud technologies like AWS or BigQuery. And imagine you're working at Netflix and you're assigned the job to help scale their web app to millions of users online using some kind of cloud technology. You would be in charge of that. You would be figuring out how to make that happen. Managing cloud and the cloud infrastructure is something that would be part of your role. And anytime if you go to a website or you go to Slack and it'll say something like 99.99% up time as a cloud engineer, you'll be in charge of things like uptime and making sure the web app or the application is running 24 seven or as close to 24 seven as possible. That's going to be your primary role. The time it takes to get your first job in something like becoming a cloud engineer, it is a little bit harder and it requires more DevOps knowledge, things like that will take you about a year plus to get your first job as a cloud engineer. And the average salary of a cloud engineer is $120,000 a year. Now, this is pretty cool. The cloud engineer make $120,000, but the one I'm gonna tell you next, those engineers make more. And by the end of this video, those people are making ridiculous amount of money. So I hope you're excited. Let's get to it. Number three, a mobile developer. This is where you're building iOS applications or Android applications and think that your apps are in app stores, Google app stores or iPhone app stores and thousands of people, or maybe even millions of people might be using apps that you make. And you could be developing game apps. You could be developing productivity apps like Notion. You could be working at a company like Notion and building their application. And then millions of users use their mobile application, whether it's on their iMac or their iPad, or their MacBooks or iPhones or wherever else. This is something that takes a while to learn. So I would say that your first job might take you around eight months or a little bit longer to land. The average salary of a mobile developer is around $130,000 
$1,000 per year. And overall, if mobile excites you, the world of mobile and its future and how mobile is growing so fast and how the whole world is moving to mobile devices, then this is definitely something you want to look into and pursue. Number two, data scientists. Now, this is one of the coolest types of jobs, in my opinion, you can have because you're doing things like developing algorithms for YouTube to recommend you your next video or the algorithms for an Amazon store to recommend you your next product or you're analyzing how a customer for a company is churning and you can help that company be able to implement steps to retain their customer. Using this, you can actually predict people's behaviors and actually have a huge impact on people's behavior. The same reason why people got hooked to TikTok and how TikTok just keeps knowing what to serve you next. And now it's an application being used by billions of users. You can help companies like Amazon or UPS develop algorithms to optimize routes for delivery or transportation. And you can reduce your costs and improve efficiency and save them hundreds of millions of dollars. So clearly the value that you bring as a data scientist is absolutely massive. However, I think to get your first job, even as an intern, even if you worked really, really hard, I believe would be around one to two years because it is something that is much more technically complex than the other roles that I had mentioned. Oftentimes people need degrees or a mathematical background or just a propensity for numbers to be able to succeed in this field. The average salary is about $140,000 a year. And what's crazy about this role is the range can go and be absolutely massive. You could have a data scientist who's a quant who works for maybe a financial firm predicting stocks and doing trading algorithms. And they could be making as much as half a million dollars working at companies like Wall Street. So the range for a data scientist is huge. And number one, a chief technology officer or a CTO. This is somebody who if you become a CTO, you will be managing all the other developers or data scientists or cloud engineers, everybody I previously mentioned underneath you. The time it takes to become a chief technology officer is a lot. Average time it takes is about 10 years because you do need a ton of experience and have built many, many applications so that when you're about to manage teams, you're, you're already somebody who knows how to perform at a high level. Therefore, you could manage a big team underneath you. The median salary, according to salary.com of a CTO is around $274,000 a year. And I've heard some crazy stories from people within the field who can go up to making half a million dollars to even a million dollars. And a bunch of CTOs oftentimes even get to a position where they can get equity in a company, especially if it's a startup and get hired by these big companies. So being a CTO is a really, really, really valuable role. And a million dollars is not out of the question, depending on what company hires you and what value you could bring to them. And one note that I do want to leave that's worth noting is all of this depends on where you live, where you get your job, your individual level of skill, your ambition, your negotiation skills. There's a ton of factors. So I'm just trying to make this video something that's valuable for you and entertaining, but definitely all of this can vary a lot. With that said, what I would recommend to you, if you want to get started in this field, I would recommend to start with becoming a full stack developer because I think it's the easiest way to break into this field. And if that is something you want to pursue and you would want me or my team's help, what I would highly recommend is we have an amazing program that we have built and you can get coached by me and my team. It's a very intensive program where you and I will work together rigorously, teach you the skills, build up your GitHub, build up your projects, put them on your portfolio, help you master the basics of becoming a full stack developer. We'll be able to help you do all of that in a short amount of time. We've helped tons of students, take students like Ali, who's never worked in the industry before to now getting a job as a software developer, making $90,000 a year. Or take David Daly, who went from being homeless to becoming a developer at Google within four months of learning from us. And I'm also going to do a podcast on my channel with him that you'll get to see at some point. So if you want to get results like that and that excites you, click the link in the description below. Apply for a coaching program of becoming a full stack developer. My team and I will schedule a free call with you. And on that call, we're going to discuss your goals and plans. And we're going to bring you a ton of value. And on that call, we'll determine if you're a good fit for the program. And if you are and you want to join this program, we'll let you know how you could join. But it is application only and we only have a few spots available. So if this is something that's interests you, definitely check it out. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.